yeah, a lot of work has been done through this uh, weekend, and even uh, a bit, a little bit in the week, Monday and Tuesday, I went here and I done, I've done some stuff in the late afternoon. So <coughs> these all these, these suspension system. I'm sorry for all that mess because I'm cutting just little pieces of metal and I need <laughs> all garbage I have. So I cut all that system I built and I showed in the last video away. I don't need it anymore because, as I said once, I uh, put the uh, chassis on the ground or the car because it is rolling chassis on the ground it comes down until the differential touches the ground you know so I removed all that mess and I built the same kind of suspension as I said and mentioned in the front the bicycle suspension so only problem I had was fighting through Friday and Saturday was that those springs are 650 LBS, what does it mean? Pound? I don't know. So they don't... They was too soft, you know, for th such a length here of this wishbone and this driving shaft and, you know, they was too long so it didn't work. It was the same problem. A bit better but the same problem. And here on the rear, I don't know if I mentioned that in the last video, we built in such a kind of panhard rod and, and we attached all both those wishbones, rear wishbones together uh, through a rod. Yeah, it looks a bit a little bit like a complex car system now, you know. Yeah. And I put those guys here. Uh, well, it's not so easy to mount them too. As you can see, welding and building and building parts yourself is not so easy. Though. Building car, maybe like most hot rodders, right rodders do, buying frame and body and motor and everything from other cars, other parts and fitting them together. Yeah, okay, they build something, but I call it home assembly. This is what you see here is a home built. Really, I'm building little parts here, as you can see here. You know, you know, all, everything I built myself. You know. Yeah, so now I am going. So it springs does everything it it's supposed to do right now. It stays in this form until you sit in, so it is straight. And in the beginning, it was when you put it down, it rests down, and those driving shafts here they go upward. The wheels turns to the inside from the top. You know that it was bit of mess you know so now I'm going to work on the motor mount yeah as I sh as you can see in the pictures right now now yeah, I went with that crane and left the motor a little bit removed that rolling support made of wood I made myself and put this bike lift here and to be able you know to adjust the height and everything right there you know yeah and the drive shaft is mounted already too so i think i made a mistake i want it to be removable but to remove that thing you have to remove the differential or to remove the motor it's not just unscrew those three bolts and put it down yeah, because there is a kind of rod or stick here that goes inside and yeah, it's not so easy as I thought, <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay, it's made my own and <laughs> I made it my own, you know, and this is a one piece car, there is no parts that fits on it, <laughs> yeah, this is really unique, you have only this one, if you get it, <laughs> only you have this one, I meant, yeah. So, yeah, I am using these old motor mounts, brackets that I cut here to maybe make some screwable system here 
and from the other side have to be longer and surprisingly the uh, 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 steering gear still fits here you know I didn't thought that you know it's pretty nice so I can't fit it again I was thinking of making something on the side here and you know but it seems to work so I saved a lot of time and money yo so the engine is getting there where it's supposed to be yeah I think it looks straight right here you need to take care of the height here it's not a big problem because even if it touches down later I can cut this one and make it from the bottom this one seems to be okay on the rear I had to cut a, a tunnel here and make it still not welded exactly because it is really hard to get down and weld you know and especially with my leg handicap I have uh, it is not so easy so the front part of the body is just <coughs> put there to check if this transmission and stuff will touch the firewall but it looks safe here and I don't have to worry about that I think I think this will be okay here so now I have to engineer a little bit some mounts that goes from the motor mount or unit to the frame and these have to be screwable from the frame side yeah yeah the motor looks yeah a little bit tilted to the driver side the left side so I have to measure it from the ground height and then organize something to make it straight yeah uh, as I said thanks for watching and supporting this channel and videos and yeah see you on the road till the next video thanks enough.